Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. A brand new major update has come along, but this time no DLC pack has come with it. Yes, this update is called Most Wanted because it basically contains a bunch of different blocks for the base game, a bunch of different blocks for the old DLC packs, which essentially plug in little gaps where you had to build around because such blocks didn't exist. So what I've done is set up a lovely little platform in space where all the DLC items are on one side, all the base game items are on the opposite side, apart from at the back there, because I was doing something else with that. So what we're going to do is go through all the items added to the old DLC packs, then we'll have a quick look at the items added to the base game, and that'll be that for this video. So if we were to come all the way over to here, what we're going to do is start off with the decorative block number one pack, where we've got two new blocks. These are the inverted corner desks, where we have one with a chair and one without. Bring the free camera over and looking down at it, that's how it's been set up. Then taking a quick look around the outside, this is what we get. And there we go. If we were to move all the way over to the chairless version, that's what we get. So yes, it's simply just a chairless version. Moving all the way over to this next part, this is part of the decorative block number two DLC pack, where we've got a bunch of grated catwalks as half blocked versions. So walking all the way up to this, this is what we get compared to the character standing on it. And there it is looking down. Of course, to bring the free camera over and take a look at the other versions, it's got one with railings on both sides. We've got one which sits on the right hand side, then one that sits on the left hand side. Walking all the way past this and coming over to this section, we then got new railings, which is also part of the decorative block number two DLC pack. So we've got one which sits right in the middle of the block. We then got one which starts in the middle that goes to a corner. Then we got one which starts in the corner that goes to the middle. There we go. Bring the free camera all the way over and get a better look at these. That's simply how they sit. And across over to here, that's how it looks like when we look all the way down. Then across to this one. There we go. Back into my character, moving over to this. This is part of the Sparks of the Future DLC pack. We've got a bunch of new neon tubes just to flesh it out a bit. Better if I use the free camera for this, so we can look all the way down. We've got this centerpiece, which is basically like a junction for all your tubes to connect up to, which could make a nice piece in the center of a ceiling. So all the tubes can go around the room, then all link up into this single point and make it look very fancy. If we was to change it to nighttime so we can see it glowing. There we go. If we were to move across over to this one, we then got a key junction. If we were to come all the way across over to this one, we then got small block versions of the neon tubes. I'm personally going to make a lot of use out of these, because they're a very simple way of adding decoration to a vehicle, especially if you've gone for a very flat, very blocky design. They just help break it up. Anyway, for us to bring the sun all the way back around again, there we go. Coming all the way across over to this, this is part of the Heavy Industry DLC pack, where we've got a T-junction conveyor. This is my second favourite part of this update. Do you don't know how many times I've had to compromise using a junction just because this block didn't exist. There was a massive rover that I was building with a friend, but we were planning to have conveyor tubes link up at the front, then go to the back of the vehicle where all the refineries and stuff were sitting, but we couldn't do that because we'd have a bunch of conveyor ports just sticking out and it would just look bad. So we had to opt off putting it down in underneath the vehicle, and then that led to other problems of how do we protect it underneath the vehicle, and well, we just used catwalks in the end. But yes, this would have saved so many problems. I can see a lot of vehicles being refitted to put this in places where it should have been. Anyway, over onto this section. These are part of the Warfare 1 DLC packs where we've got diagonal windows. To bring the character all the way over across to this so we can get a good look at that. That's what it looks like sitting on the block. Then all the way over to here, here's a rounded version. And you can just make him out peering through the window. So there we go. Taking a look behind that. There we are. Then behind there, that's what we get. Then if we were to come over onto this one, this is the last part of the DLC update, which is the Warfare 2 pack, where we've got ourselves a diagonal bridge window inverted block. So I can just sit on a corner, and there we go. That's all it does. But now what we can do is come through all the base game blocks, because there was one hell of a lot of stuff added. So walking all the way back over to this section, there we go, this is what we get. So I need to bring the sun back to this side, that'll do nicely. But what we got is a bunch of blocks which are called transition blocks, which could be very useful if you're looking for that type of shape to finish off a vehicle. So what I can see from several of these blocks, if I was to bring the free camera all the way over, 
is a way to make some very, very good ramming spikes, especially from this block right here. There's not really too much to explain with these blocks, because they're basically there if you need them to finish off a shape. Coming over to this one, this is a very good addition to the base game, which is basically the same as the one we saw over there from the Heavy Industry DLC pack. This is a T-Junction conveyor, where I've already gone through how good this is to have in the game. That's just how it sits on a block. And there we go. Up next, over here is a bunch of rounded window blocks, which I think will be put to very good use on bases, making towers and all that. So we do have the rounded steel blocks, but now we can make a proper base out of the rounded shapes. So the block in front of me is one, we can just peer through it like so. We then got corner shapes. We then got rounded flat ones. We got rounded corners. And over onto here, we've got the same ones we saw at the very start, but inverted. So yes, I can see one hell of a lot of use being put out of these blocks, especially if you're saying making a submarine, because you can have that rounded cockpit at the front. You can even have claws coming out. It sounds much like a Lego set I used to have. But yes, they are very good additions to the game. All the way over to here, we then got a small block advanced rotor. So now you can have a rotating machine gun, rotating mining setup if you want to on a small block ship. Then speaking of small blocks, coming all the way over to here, we've got ourselves a conveyor converter. But we've got a large conveyor to a bunch of small ones. The large conveyor port will still be considered a small block ship, so you cannot connect it up to a large block refinery or anything like that. I guess you can have a large conveyor over to a bunch of small ones. We've got three on the back, one on the top, one on the bottom, left and right. And just there if you want to connect a bunch of stuff to one conveyor point. Or you can just simply ignore this part at the back here and use it as a junction box to have all your conveyors come into one location to make it a lot more tidier. Moving all the way over here, this is simply another cover wall that's been mirrored to the opposite side of this standard one, which is well very useful if you are needing a mirrored version of the cover wall, though I personally haven't ever used the cover wall properly before, but there you go. Then over here, here is my personal favorite of this entire update, these are the plushy engineers, which are small block toys for you to dot everywhere. So with the free camera all the way over here, let's get a better look at this red guy right over here. So that's what it looks like. A surprising amount of detail on here. He actually looks like a plushy. If we were to come all around to the back, that's the Diddy little jetpack. <laughs> looks very adorable. And yes, beans, these aren't locked down. I can simply slam myself into them. And away goes the little engineer to forever spin around in space until eventually someone finds him. Anyway, coming past these little plushies all the way over to here, here is a very, very useful block. This is the ladder shaft. So we've got a ladder that comes all the way up to here onto a little catwalk section, which will be very useful for ships that are trying to make themselves as compact as possible, because you can use then the passages, so these ones are right here, to then make a proper little walkway. Let's go with that. And you can have it come all the way across to now a ladder shaft that can lead further up into a ship. That's such a nice little thing to have if you are needing this type of block. And I know personally that I'm going to make great use out of this, going up on a little tower that can then be used with the rounded blocks, make a little lookout point. Anyway, for you to remove that for the moment, bring the free camera all the way over, get a better look at this. So that's what it looks like at the very front. So in here we can see a bunch of railings on the side. There's a ladder that goes up. On the side, not too much else to talk about. And all the way on the top, we can see how that comes up to a catwalk that can then go off to a different place. Moving all the way over to this, these are reinforced conveyors, where rather than having the conveyors be in the middle of the block, these now take up the entire block, acting like an entire steel cube. So in the middle here, we can see the conveyor going up and down, but all the way around it, that's all we get. So it makes it very easy to hide the conveyors on your ship if you do need to have a conveyor going through a wall, but you don't want to have it sticking out like a sore thumb. Over to here is a corner block version, and over here is a T-junction version. And just looking down at them, there we go. For just to grab some steel blocks, there we go, and say, make it the same colour as them. And just put that all the way across. There we go, come round to the back, and that's what we get. For to bring the sunlight all the way back around, it just makes it nice and neat in the event you do need to build it into a wall. And then speaking of walls, all the way behind here are the two new armor block skins. The first one is the Weldless skin, where it removes all the detail on there. In fact, you can see a little bit of detail, kind of like little dirt marks, little scuff marks on there. But from a distance, it's extremely clean compared to the clean steel blocks that I'm using on the floor. And if you do need to have a completely flat surface devoid of any kind of detail, you now have an option. 
push you to scoot all the way up. There's pink, there's black, there's blue, there's yellow, and there's white. And coming all the way down over to this one, this is the corrugated metal, where it looks like it should be on a freight container with how it's all been set up. Could be very useful for like a garage setup if you want to have a door that lifts all the way up or down to the ground. We can see a lot of scuff marks, a lot of dirt, but it is a lot more apparent on the lighter grey block than it is the pink. If we were to move up to the black, we can see a lot more detail on the black. That looks like someone spilled some oil on the ground and tried to clean it up. And all the way up to here, that's blue. There's a the yellow. You can see a lot more detail on the yellow because we seem to lose the colouring on the scuff mark, but the grey starts to show through. Let's get a closer look at that all the way over there. There we go, you can just about make that out. Then all the way up on the white, you can see one hell of a lot of detail. Looks like someone's been paintballing on that. And then the final thing of the update, which is extremely nice to have, and about damn time, because I've been using mods to get around this, is a new camera overlay. So in some of my videos, you probably noticed that the camera has been exceptionally clean to look through. There's none of that fuzziness on the screen, and that's what this update has done. So getting into the seat and going to the camera, that is the new camera overlay. So we lose the fuzzy blueness all the way around. We get extremely clear view of what's going on. Zooming all the way in, zooming all the way out. Coming out of that and moving on to this camera. It's just a nice update to the camera system where we do have a reticle where I don't need... In fact, that looks... Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a tick. What's going on there? That looks slightly out of line with the reticle. But yes, as I was saying, just, just ignore that for the moment, that's probably just a bug. It's nice to have a reticle without having a HUD up, so now you can fire a custom gun at your targets without needing to jump through hoops. Because sometimes like, people set up a projector system to have a reticle, or you need to have your HUD up to see where it's going, and now you don't have to. And there we go with that. So that is pretty much everything that they're adding in with the base game. There is some stuff with combat improvements, there is some stuff with quality of life changes, I'm not going to go through that because it's much more easy to showcase all the blocks they've added. So at the end of the day, I think this was an absolute fantastic update. A lot of much needed blocks were added, especially the T-Junction. That is one of the most useful things they've added with this update. And of course these little guys. I like these guys. They're very nice. And there we go. So if you only own the base game, there's a lot of new stuff for you to play around with. A lot of very useful stuff such as the ladder, the T-Junction conveyor, the rounded windows. And if you do own the DLC pack, you've got a bunch of new stuff to play around with. But anyway, that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.